it's a doctor, it's an engineer, or even being a footballer. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our channel Balleway Elegant Life. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon button so you can get the notification of our next video. Let's talk about something. We all know birthdays is a really exciting day, isn't it? Yes. I know. I can't sleep the nights before mine. Can you guys sleep? No. Okay. So I have a surprise for everybody. Whose birthday is today? The Hafiz. Okay, please stand up. I'd like everybody to sing happy birthday to Taha Abdullah. Happy birthday to Taha Abdullah. So only two minutes are left for the break. What? You know, when the speakers and evaluators, they cannot touch anything. We will do that, don't worry. Hamza! Okay, okay, please. Cavaliers, please come up to the stage for cake cutting. Cake cutting. Just, just circle, semicircle, please prepare. Go in the back, please. Let us all remind ourselves 
The mission and core values of the Toastmasters International is the mission. We empower in individuals to become more effective communicators and leaders. Our core values are integrity, respect, service, and excellence. All the evaluators, do you have blank sheets with you? Yes. Evaluators? Good afternoon. You know, the weather is quite hot outside, as many of you know. How's everyone doing? All good. All good? I, President Gavidir Jaban Ahmud, bring today's meeting to order. So begin. Honorable VPE, please rise. Mm. Can I adopt the agenda as it is? Yes, we can adopt the agenda today. Thank you. Okay, great. So, to start, I'd like to introduce our timer for today. Please rise. Give a round of applause. <laughs> All right, please introduce yourself. What about the timing criteria? Can anybody lend a seat to her and you get another one, please? Let the timer come here. Come here. Speakers have time from five to seven minutes with grace. Is she audible there? No. Speakers have time from five to seven minutes with grace time of uh, Is she audible? No. <laughs> Are you louder? Oh, yeah. Speakers See, have time. Speakers will not know what the timing is, right? So you have to be loud enough. Speakers have time from 5 to 7 minutes with grace time of 30 seconds. Speakers who speak less than 5 minutes and more than 7 and a half minutes will be disqualified. At 5 minutes, the green signal will be displayed. At 6, at six minutes, the amber signal will be displayed. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, the timing criteria, it's, it's an old script, right? The timing criteria is four to six minutes, not five to seven minutes. There is a correction, right? Honorable VPE, where are you? Yes. Can you please rise on your seat? Honorable VPE, please, this is your responsibility to check all the drops so that they don't have the old ones, right? Okay, sir. Updated okay, ones, because I have already shared it in the group, right? Yeah. If it is in the group, please make sure use the latest one. Now it is a time for an exciting session. This will prepare us for rather intimidating sessions for the next meeting. Feared by some, endured by many, the foundation of cold sweet, the table topic, topic session. It's all about speaking on spot. You can speak when you are challenged. I am inviting a TM who started her speaking journey when she was just 10 years. She, wo she won many awards in speaking, evaluations, and table topics. In her journey, she was the president of Bahrain Equivalent uh, Caval Club, assistant YLP coordinator last year, and, tr and, and trainer this year. Please welcome with me, GM Dani Ahmed. Now since we are all new to table topic session, let me demonstrate how it usually goes in the beginning. Especially for me, how it went. Uh, suppose I am the table topic master. Okay, thank you everyone. I am the table topic master for today. And now, who would like to come for the table topics? Well, this is just a demonstration. But when I was in the audience, I didn't want to be picked, of course. So I was looking here and over there. Don't pick me, you can't see me. I'm, I'm invisible. But of course, you get picked when you don't want to get picked. 
So here are some things that I will tell you about, introduce the table topics to you, so you don't have to face this situation. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies, most respected guests, Mr. Coordinator, and my dear Gavaliers. A very good afternoon to everyone. Table topic session is a very important segment of our meetings. Table topics are impromptu speeches which only last from one to two minutes. Now these aren't as long or as prepared as the regular speeches. Now here's how it goes. There's a table topic master in your meetings who will be picked or who can, anyone can volunteer to be the table topic master. This table topic master will prepare a list of topics. A random topic they will pick or they will just think about it. For example, what has life taught you recently? Now this is just a regular table topic that is used. Now what we have to do when we are called on the stage randomly, or you can volunteer for that, you have to come on the stage and you have to talk on this topic that is given to you. You won't be told this topic before time. This is a topic that you will be told only when you come in the meeting and the segment of table topic start. So now you're standing on the stage and the table topic master tells you the topic. You are given some time to think about it, of course. And what I recommend over here is you don't start talking immediately. Because sometimes it happens when you hear the topic. Like the table topic master asks, what is your favorite activity? And you immediately think, eating, because I'm so hungry right now. So you start speaking, yes, I love to eat. Oh, there goes my bracelet again. Now you don't do that. Don't start speaking immediately. Because as soon as you start speaking, you run out of those words that immediately came to your mind as they go immediately out of your mind through your mouth. You stand on the stage for a while and you think about the topic. What is my favorite activity? And you have to think that you have to complete the time that is one to two minutes. You have to talk in that time, of course. So you think about the activity, you gather some points that you can think, talk about. Okay, you love to eat. What do you love to eat? Anything related to eating that comes to your mind, you gather those points and you start speaking. You can do this in three seconds, three to five seconds, because no one will bother you. The stage is yours. So when you start speaking, then you don't stop. When you start speaking, your time starts. You have to speak for one to two minutes. You start telling everyone from the start. The question was, what is your favorite hobby? Which is eating, of course. So you tell everyone, yes, I love to eat. Now what do you love to eat? You talk about that. What is your favorite food? You start connecting the points to make up for the time that you have. You go from one point to another. And of course, we know how important it is because we are given the stage. You have to use the stage, of course. So when you talk about the points, which is something I do personally, you're saying, yes, I love to eat. Now you're moving to your favorite foods. What do you love to eat? You change your position on the stage. I love to eat pasta, I love to eat pizza. You start talking about your favorite foods. Then you run out of that content. Oh, what do I do now? Then you start talking about what your uh, loved ones like to eat. Or what do you like to eat when you're with your friends? Now what happens with me? I personally love sweets. I love as much chocolate as you give me, I will eat it. I will get a sugar rush, I will run everywhere, but I will finish that chocolate. Now my friends don't like chocolate. So what I, when I am with my friends, I cannot eat chocolate, which is very depressing sometimes. So uh, what we have to do is we have to cooperate with our friends as well. You can start talking about that. That's how you get points to talk about, to make up for the time that you have. That is one to two minutes. I keep repeating this because you have to use this time very properly. And you can run out of that very quickly when you have so much content to talk on. This is usually how I do the table topics myself. It was a little briefing so you can understand the concept of table topics. Are there any questions regarding it? Do you understand the concept of table topics, right? Yes. I will summarize it by saying that uh, you will be given a topic when you come on the stage. You will think about it for a few seconds. No one will interrupt that time. So don't worry. You have to think about it before speaking. And then you start speaking. You keep an eye on the timing device, right, which is over there. And you speak. You connect your points. One, two. You keep speaking. You keep changing your positions. 
it is just like a little speech and you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so now let's move on to a demo which I have a person over here, she will be giving us a demo. I will give a topic right now because this is our first time. So everyone will, will there will be like four people and you just have to talk on You have to come, right? Yes. And you have to come and you have to come. Especially who couldn't get the opportunity to speak. I'm 15 years old and today I will be giving a short speech on my happiest memory. So a little context is that my mom and dad both work. So I've predominantly been raised by my grandmother whom I love very much. Um, ever since I, I think when I turned one, my mom stopped, my mom started working again. And so I've always just been with her and I've probably spend more time with her than I have with my own mom. Um, so then in 2020, when we decided to move to Bahrain, it was kind of hard for me because to go from not, to go from seeing someone every day and then just stop seeing them entirely is kind of tough. And I was like 11, 12 or something. So yeah, it was, a, it was kind of emotional. And then I met her again in 2022, I think. And um, yeah, it was just a really happy memory. It's kind of, uh, I guess, basic. It's not very exciting, but it meant a lot to me to see her again. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, great, thank you. But I also enjoy other occasions, like my right now summer vacation, because I'm getting to do like the Toastmasters, football and all that. But I still prefer to eat more, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Good. Good. Thank you very much for coming. Yes. Hello, guys, and I'm Dr. Memona. I think I will make you understand who I am by telling you I'm the mother of Sayyid Muhammad Haider, your VPP R -S VPE. VPE. Uh, I came here today just to give you this knowledge that how important Toastmasters is. So I'm now a big doctor. I studied in Pakistan school in Bahrain. The important thing here is that, you know, at that time, we were living in a dilemma that, you know, our school may be small. We're not getting the education which other kids are. They're higher than us. You know, they have British curriculum. But then after all that, what I realized was that it's not the school. It's you inside. You become what you want to be. So it doesn't matter where you are, which school you are. What you need to do is you need to know what is your aim, what is your goal, what you want to be. And it's not your parents who decide for you mostly. It's you who decide. So find your passion. What do you want to be? And go ahead with it. It doesn't matter it's art. It's a doctor, it's an engineer, or even being a footballer. So I tell myself, if you like it, whatever you like, do something and get a name in that. Do you understand? If you want to be an artist, for example, a boy can be an artist. Who said boys can't do art? Is that right? If, if a girl wants to be a footballer or a cricket, cricketer, why not? I have a very good example. Can you stand up once again? Look at this girl. She is amazing in sports, and she's doing all the athletic, uh, you know, uh, these uh, competitions, and she has won awards. So imagine, it's not, sports is not for boys, arts is not for girls, so it's whatever you want to be, be the best version of yourself. So try to improve every day, every day, every day, go ahead. And uh, my best moment is coming back to Toastmasters, feeling my own feeling when I used to go there and you know looking at all you kids getting empowered so I think one day I'll be very very happy seeing you all you know be becoming the next Toastmaster thank you to Dr. Sir Ahmed I always call him Doctor but really appreciate thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much